All right, update on Bonfighter. So we made a video on Bonfighter like two days ago when we were running back underneath the 786 from this fib from this low to this high here. And you know, as you can see, we've retested it a bunch of times. When we did pump above, we just got rejected from the 618. And now once again, we're getting below the 786 and basically this fib is invalidated. So, um, or at least invalidated to the upside while we're below the 786. So in my opinion, we're setting up for a big move to the downside. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been sitting on the sideline for this. Uh, when we did pump up here, I said, you know, we've got this big red box, you know, all the way between where this 618 is until we get above the 618, we can't even be micro bullish. And I said, you know, for me personally to even consider trading this, or consider buying it on spot, I would need to see a break above 390, which is obviously a massive, massive push to the upside. But you know, if we do flatten this data, you can see it's still in a massive downtrend. So the downtrend hasn't changed. It doesn't seem to me like we've made a bottom at all. And I think the only reason that we got above this downtrend is, you know, if we were in it for any longer, you know, we would literally be at zero. So, I mean, if we were still underneath this downtrend, you can see it, it's basically zero when it reaches here. So, you know, nothing impressive to get above this downtrend if we were in it, in it for, you know, too much longer, or at least specifically below this trend line, we would have been at zero. So, uh, what am I looking for now? Um, like I've been saying in my last few videos, you know, I've had a target down here at 133 for, for weeks now. Since we broke down below, 232 and even you know when we were all the way up here i said you know if we lose this level here then we're probably going to be coming down you know either to test this line or to this uh to the bottom of this over here so 133 is really your last line in the sand for fighter now you know if you've been watching my videos i'm, I'm sure you know what i'm about to say but i'm still sitting on the sidelines for this I'm not buying this on spot, I'm not accumulating at all, and you know, the same reason as why I wasn't buying over here, because you know, if I just flatten the data, we're still in a massive downtrend, we're below everything we need to be above, if I take a fib from here to here, I mean, there's literally no point in even drawing this, because you know, the 786 is here, this was your last line in the sand, um, you can actually see, you know, in this big pump, this is pretty much what we came up to, we came up to the 786 and we fell down, so... Uh, fighter is really on its last life you can see if it does break below uh, this green box you know at the bottom down here then you know we're pretty much going to be going down to zero again so the start of this trend was you know all the way down here when it was 16 cent that is basically a 90 percent drop from now now you know i'm not necessarily saying that that's going to happen tomorrow or in the next week but i am still saying that i am predicting we're going to come down to 133 that is still another 21% drop, so you know nothing's changed. I still think we're going to drop another 20%. Uh, what gets interesting, like I said, if we do lose that, then we only have this level down here. And what is this green box? Uh, does this line up with anything down here? So I don't know what that green box is. I think I meant to maybe make this green box and then... Uh, made that by accident but yeah as you can see this is really your last line in the sand i i, I can't even mention the 1.618 target down here as it's in the minuses and you know if we were to come down to this trend line it we would literally be you know below zero so the only thing i can do in the short term is draw a tiny little micro fib and basically say you know we're probably going to come down anywhere between 21 percent and 42 percent uh, like I said, what gets interesting is if we don't manage to hold this 97 cent region, which, you know, in my opinion, I think we are heading heading to very strongly right now. Um, not really much volume coming in, but the volume that is coming in is selling volume. RSI is losing all its strength. And yeah, like I said, it's heading down. So in my opinion, it's basically pretty much confirmed that we're going to be coming down to 133. If we lose 133 then you know we'd be coming down to 97 cents and then if we lose 97 cents there's really nowhere else for this uh this token to go apart from zero so keep an eye on 133 i personally don't hold this token but if i did hold it and it broke below 133 i would basically be shitting myself so uh that's all i've got for bonfire today once again none of this is financial advice if you do hold this token best of luck to you and yeah that's all for today peace